Hey, hey everyone. Welcome to another great week where you are going to be the Sherlock Holmes of finding multiples. Here we have four numbers that we're adding together. What can you notice about these numbers? Well, I can see there's a six and a six, but there's also a one and a five we need to add as well. Hey, I know that one and five equals six. Six, add six, add six. I'm not going to add them one by one. That takes too long, especially when we have done our multiplication tables. We know that three groups of six equals, that's right, 18. The answer is 18. Here we are again. What do you notice about these numbers? Hmm, two nines, five and a four. Ah, found our multiples again. We know that five and four equals nine. Ha, ah. and we know that three nines equals 27. Hmm. Now this one, we're gonna to have to slow down for and really take our time to notice the patterns that we can see. Here we have four and four. Ah, oh, easy. Three and one equals four. But seven, hmm, we're gonna to have to take it back. We know that three fours equals 12. So 12 and seven, hmm, looking at our one, seven and two, and the 10 equals 19. Our answer is 19. And we used multiplication and addition in this one. We're getting too clever.